World War I storytelling. What if you could feel what people experienced 100 years ago? That was the point of departure for the World War I memorial campaign set up by the province of Limburg to share archive material and stories from Limburg with the public at large. Three fictitious main characters, one personal profile page on Twitter and Facebook, Matilda Paukins. Born to a simple family as the eldest daughter of a cobbler. She attended elementary school until the age of 14, when she went to work as a housemaid for several well-to-do families. To her younger brother Isidore, she has always been somewhat of a guardian angel. When the war breaks out, he wants to fight, but he is too young. Still, he can't stand idly by when his country needs him, and he joins the resistance. And then there's Baptiste, Matilda's great love. He is the second son of a rather prosperous farmer and a true hedonist. Unfortunately, the long war and his unexpected parenthood will change him. Je dames werken op het veld, allemaal naar de kazerne. Ik moet naar het 11e linieregiment in Hasselt. It's more than simple facts. You truly experience what it must have been like for people at the time. You get to share their prospects and despair, their doubts and fears. Onze jongens in Luik liggen onder vuur. We kunnen het kanon gebulderd tot in Limburg horen. Ondertussen zitten wij hier. Aan het front. In de kou. In de modder. Onder de luizen. Tussen de ratten. Te wachten totdat we doodgeschoten worden. But their personal stories also strike a nerve. Geef ons de Camille kusje. Ik zie u ontzettend graag en ik kan niet wachten om opnieuw met u te dansen. Hundreds of posts. Thirteen main characters. True facts. Klaar voor de laatste slag. Overmorgen, zeggen ze. 28 augustus 1918. Waar? Dat weten we nog niet. Maar we gaan de Pruisen breken. Ik ben er zeker van. België wordt bevrijd. En we mogen terug naar huis. Misschien. Four years of war told through human stories. Richly illustrated with archive material and supplemented with fiction videos and picture that make the reality of war even more tangible. Based on actual wartime stories, some stories were handed down through the generations. Others were handed in following an appeal to the public. Small stories from a great war. A unique launch by ringing the church bells all across Limburg at the exact moment the general mobilization was announced exactly 100 years ago. In heel Limburg luidde gisteravond de kerkklokken. 100 jaar geleden was dat ook het geval. Three months of daily Facebook posts. More than 12,000 followers. More than two and a half million people reached across provincial borders. Countless comments. Many historical questions answered by World War I experts. Over 40,000 views for the fiction videos, online and in movie theaters. 127,000 viewers per week on regional TV. More than 100 mentions in the regional and national press. And the campaign didn't stop there. The fiction videos were edited into a short film, and together with the Facebook story, the short film invited people to visit a video exhibition in a traveling black box, with the now familiar main characters recounting what people had to go through during World War I. Archive footage, pictures, and fiction videos made the story even more realistic, 
based on a great many personal stories. The short film and the exhibition video made it onto an educational DVD now shown in schools. Coupled with the exhibition, there were also the 44 giant concrete helmets that symbolized the German occupation of Limburg and that told a unique local war story via a QR code. The helmets were spread out across Limburg and called upon every inhabitant of the 44 Limburg municipalities to take part in the project. Their assignment? Find a creative way of rendering the war on the monotonous concrete surface of the helmets. Crowned by one Limburg Expo with 44 stories, ideas and creations, this is us. More than just a memorial campaign, it was the perfect tool to raise awareness among a large audience of the impact of war on people's daily lives. To make them empathize with their countrymen of a hundred years ago. A project shouldered and shared by all 859,000 inhabitants of Limburg. It's an hard day to En we wachten nu allemaal op de terugkeer van onze geliefden. En sommigen komen niet terug. We hebben de krieg verloren. Onze eigen mannen hebben zich afgeleend. Aan de heimatfront zijn ze de krieg leid. Het heeft lang genoeg geduurd, deze eindloze krieg. En ik hoop dat het nooit geen oorlog meer wordt.